This is where I was spending oh, my wow. night last night, like analyzing what is changing because they're obviously rebranding the color scheme of the, each of the locations has changed. But okay, let's start with the top menu. So you got your cine, yeah. cinnamon donut, yeah. chocolate ice ring, caramel sorry, ice sorry, ring, sorry, what's it called? <laughs> strawberry ice ring, pineapple ice ring, oh, yeah. strawberry ice cake. Now this is where I get confused. What's the difference between a strawberry ice ring and a strawberry ice cake donut? Do you have any theories? I have one. Feeling? <clears throat> well, no. Think about like, this is very technical. Hot cinnamon donut, the kind of dough, it's that sort of denser, heavier dough. And then you think about a ring donut that's got the lighter, fluffier dough. Yeah. So I think the cake, strawberry ice cake is more that heavier cinnamon donut yeah. dough. You, you, you following? <laughs> yeah, I just always assumed that those ones had, were the ones that had been there for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, no, no. You're talking to a donut connoisseur. There is a different, different types of donuts. Okay. So uh, we'll continue on down the list. Then they've got the pineapple iced cake donut, oh. Oh. which is definitely different to the pineapple iced ring donut. Then you've yeah. got the chocolate ice cake donut, the caramel, caramel ice cake, which is all good old school 1970s Aussie milk bar, right? Yeah. These are some standards for Donut King. Your Twinkle Star Donut, um, your Chocolate Sweet Talker, which is a mobile phone with Smarties for the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your Strawberry oh, Dinosaur. Hang on. You've got to, if you go to this event, Alex, you've got to take a call on your Chocolate Sweet Talker. At some <laughs> yeah, stage. Just, because, like at some stage, you go, just excuse me. And then just pull up your Chocolate Sweet Talker and take a call. Just, just touching the Smarties that yeah. are the buttons as they fall off. I mean, because you, know the be, you know there'll be influencers there taking selfies. Yeah. You've, oh, got to, you've got to saddle up next to an influencer taking selfie with your Chocolate, <laughs> your Sweet Talker, Chocolate Donut phone. You've got to hand it to an influencer yeah. and say, can you please? <laughs> take a photo of me on this and then see how long it takes for them to work out it's a donut. All right, oh, so I'll continue oh, down. So you've got the strawberry oh. dinosaur, which is low-key my recommendation mm. if you go to a donut camp. Yeah, that looks, that looks familiar to me, the, yeah, so, the strawberry dinosaur. Yeah, second to the, um, uh, the hot cinnamon donuts is, like I'd say, the chocolate dinosaur or the dinosaur or the donut buddy, which is shaped like a man mm. because you get lollies as well as the donut. It's just, it's just value for money. Now yep. here's where things get a bit because Will, you were saying, oh, they, you know, they're not fancy, but this is where I think DK is. By the way, just the, the donut buddy, you said shaped like a man, but I will say actually very non-binary. Yeah, that's true. Actually, like you know, that's, that's the nice thing mm. about your buddy can be whoever it wants to be. It's like got a couple of smarties on the front, like as just some sort of like I don't know, like is that a jacket or something? Do you imagine what those smarties are meant to represent, or are they internal organs? What's what's going on? With <laughs> you think smarties? it's got a prolapse, <laughs> like prolapse bowel through its belly button? Is that what you're suggesting? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was imagining sort of a double-breasted um, jacket there oh, really? with, with the two smarties. I think okay. that's what it is. But like, mm. I mean, if it was a man, you could have just put the two smarties down like testicles to make it very clear. <laughs> so I think the fact that they're in the middle of the body, non-binary. Yeah. Donut King up late. Great. There, there, there could be chakras. Maybe it's more of an uh, Eastern philosophy kind of thing. Then oh, you've got the uh, crocodile donut, which I've never seen in the wild before. No. Nah, too much. Um, That's sort of screaming, sort of screaming like 80s um, yeah. children's cake cookbook yeah, to totally. me. Yeah, totally. That's like a woman's weekly. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know, something yeah. Josh Earl would cook in a show. <laughs> <laughs> Then you've got some eclairs, which you get your dusted. This is where I think will kind of more your territory. This yeah. is like your dusted. Custard cream eclair, jam eclair, strawberry iced jam eclair, chocolate caramel, chocolate ice. But we get to the cinnamon scroll, the jam, classic jam ball, which is a absolute winner. Mini jam balls, fine. Caramel custard. The classic chocolate jam ball. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that used to have hundreds and thousands on it back in the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? No, man. I, okay. I look, love, if I'm honest with you, I, love I how you've really asked like donuts us. growing up. <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, how would we know? You're the expert when it comes to donuts. Okay. Cake. Well, let me tell you, the classic jam ball donut, should, chocolate jam ball donut should have hundreds and thousands. They've changed that formula. I'm not happy. It, here's well, I've we, got their email get, if you want to. Here's where we get to the American influence, right? You should protest, by the way. Alex should go to this party, but you should be out the front protesting until yeah. they bring the sprinkles <laughs> Like <out>. WGA <laughs> style. <laughs> just have like a, like a placard Telling with people a not slogan. to cross the picket line to go into the party until they bring the sprinkles Do back. not go to this party. <laughs> I've got like hundreds donuts. and thousands of reasons you should not go. <laughs> um, okay. 
So then we get to, this is now your more American style mm. fancy donuts, which is where I think DK are trying to edge into. Mm. So you've got your vanilla glazed ring. Your t- your, and that, that's your, a response to Krispy Kreme, surely. Yes, 100%. Glazed, or, yeah. you know, Donut Time or any of those American style like fancy donut shops. Sure. Your tough cookie donut, which is like Oreos mm. over a glaze. Your Big Apple donut. Your Smarty Pants donut, mm. which is a complete ripoff of Donut Time's um, Marshall Mathers. They had an M&M uh, donut. Mm. Um, and then you got Rock My World, which is kind of like uh, chocolate pretzels over cream-filled donut. And then a Slammington donut, which is a Donut Lamington mashup, which I can That actually can looks like with. the best one to me. Yeah, I've got to, I'm with you on, on that, Alex. I saw the Slammington come up and I was suddenly like, oh, yeah, you've got me back there, Donut King. Yeah. You lost me it in the middle there just, for a while. but It did kind of just make me want a Lamington, though, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> so this is the thing. Now, what do you think about them going into this American Too territory? Too much. Like, don't like don't, it. Yeah, Not into I it. I agree. I feel like this... Stay in your over, lane, Donut King. They're, they're, they're reaching. So it got me curious, right, mm. about... Like, what is Donut King? Where is it come? Hang on, so I got that'll, that'll, that'll be the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pick up your donut <laughs> phone. Take that. Imagine that. If Charlie had just at that moment picked up a donut oh. phone and taken that call, it would have been the greatest <laughs> moment in the history of podcasts. One of the all time bits in Topop history. <laughs> so I did a bit of research. I watched these franchise videos. Um, so they're trying to like encourage yeah. people to, to buy into the Donut King franchise, join one of the 220 stores around mm. Australia. Um, and this one guy, like, it's a, quite a compelling story. It's a four minute video. He's this dude who in the 80s, he had a chain of donut uh, shops in Queensland called Tropo Donuts. And he said it was just getting <laughs> too hard. But then, you know, when he joined the franchise, he could just focus on running the business. Now he owns seven Donut King stores and he gets to go on holiday every year with his family. They never miss out on, they work hard, Will, but they play hard. And that's all thanks to <laughs> the king. <laughs> um, now, I wanted to know where it started and I found this bio on the Donut King. Are you, do you, are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. This is under the heading, How the King Came to Rule. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the first Donut King store opened in Sydney in 1981, okay. which, okay. Now, I always thought of it as, I don't know why, but I thought it was a Queensland. I, it felt Queensland. <laughs> Donut King. <laughs> I thought that's where it lived. I thought that's where the king had retreated to, but it, it was a Sydney. It started in Sydney. When you were young, you assumed the queen in Queensland referred to the Donut Queen, who was married <laughs> the to the Donut, donut king. king. That's right. <laughs> Lady Eclair, I believe, was her name. <laughs> well. The Donut King has continued to grow, now boasting more than 220 stores across Australia, making us the biggest and best donut empire mm. the country has ever seen. Sharing our passion for all things donuts. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. This I am their target audience. <laughs> but I just I like the idea that oh, I've got all things donuts. Um, I okay, mean, that, through- I will say this though: good, like for a donut king to say, look, what we're really about is spreading the word of donuts and all things yeah. donuts. We're not going to be telling you how to live the rest of your life. We're here <laughs> about the donuts and only the donuts. Yeah, that's right. But how's this? So they spread the word of the donut throughout Australia, but then they say we also uh, are international. So they currently have Donut King stores mm. in New Zealand, the UK, Indonesia. What? And the list is set to grow. So the king is, the empire is growing into other lands. They're taking over like parts of, well, they're taking over New Zealand, it looks like, the UK, and then uh, in Indonesia. I mean, Do you reckon they just start by putting a franchise in the airport and then they just kind of move it out of, you know, out from there, out from oh, there? Oh, Alex, I know 100% Bali, this is the case. I'm sure. Uh, Bali, that, Dentist, like, both the uh, airport. In, yeah, the, there's the, there's the a airport. Dunkin' Donuts oh, okay. there, which is weird. Oh, okay. Like the, the American Imperials mm. got before the, uh, the, the Australian, Australian Imperials. Imperials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, this is I the next quickly, heading. I had a quick look last night, you. just oh, yeah. quickly, you know, how many Donut Kings are actually in you know, Sydney, Sydney. And they're all kind of past the, the red rooster line. They're yeah. all like Western Sydney. So there's none in the Quinoa Curtain? 
No, no, because the Red Rooster line kind of is the start of Western Sydney. Mm, right. And it's basically a line of Red Roosters and then everything past that is basically, if you link them all up, everything's, well, everything's I, West. I also, when, uh, in my research last night, went to the store locator and was like, where's the nearest one to where I live in the Northern Rivers? And there's one in Lismore. Like it's, I think, I don't know if it was there before the floods or if DK right, just has taken advantage town. of a devastated <laughs> town. <laughs> Like he's conquered, he's waited for the floods to do their damage, and then he's marched his troops in there and taken over. No, I reckon, I reckon the one in Lismore I've been to, and okay. um, it's been there for a while. I would say the Lismore one, but I Lismore makes sense to me. That's where I expected the Donut King to be. Yeah, the fact totally. that the Donut King is now, you know, going from the west back into the inner city, like for this pop up event, like this is what's mm. interesting to me. Like, yeah, these are the traditional areas where you knew the king was is your Lismores, your outer suburbs, your shopping centers, your regional airports. Like, they felt like natural habitats of the king, but the fact that the king is coming back, yeah, to a warehouse, yeah, <laughs> to a warehouse, yeah, like a warehouse party, party in the inner party. west. I mean, there the is a really Thelma Plum is playing at. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> I hope that there's some still my plum jam in one of those donuts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> to see the full video, join our Patreon. Patreon.com slash TOEFOP.